Bruton Smith's place, Texas Motor Speedway, Friday afternoon. David Reutemann on the pole. Beat Jeff Gordon and Matt Kenseth for the top spot for Sunday's Texas Samsung 500. Bruton Smith, he was the star today. Bankruptcy? I saw the headlines. You probably saw them too. He says, hell no. And then he went on to say he's got a lot of money. He's making money. His automotive dealership business is making money. The economy is turned around. Yeah, don't, really, don't believe all those things you see on TV or in the newspaper. Believe Bruton. He says things are good. Hey, I hope so. He's a billionaire. I think he is. We'll have to check that one out. You can ask him if he's not. <laughs> he was in a feisty mood today. Had a lot of things going his way. Las Vegas. We're in Texas. Dallas, Fort Worth area. Yeah, beautiful place down here. They could back 200,000 people in here if the economy were better. He's taking the NASCAR banquet to Las Vegas. Or NASCAR is. Or NASCAR is going to get paid to take it to Las Vegas, however you want to look at it. Las Vegas, that was the big story today. December, December 4th, I believe, this year. They'll be going down the strip celebrating, hey, maybe Kyle Busch. He said he'd love to win the championship this year. If they're going to have the banquet in Vegas, he can party for a month. It's his hometown. Las Vegas, nobody would confirm it. On the record, off the record, they said, it's a done deal. NASCAR gets about a million dollars a year for the next three to five years to put the banquet out there. They pick either the Bellagio or the MGM Grand or the Mandalay Bay. Now, I like the Mandalay Bay. Can't afford it, but I like it. 16,000 people can fit inside some of those halls. Bruton says, hey, let me sell 10,000 tickets to race fans. Might make Las Vegas a destination again. That's the story today. David Reutemann on the pole. I like the kid. Jeff Gordon outside. Can he break the Texas jinx? I hope so. Matt Kenseth. Bad couple of weeks. But, hey, this is his kind of track. I think that one of those three may win Sunday's 500. Already the winner? Bruton Smith. Held court. Said he's fine. Everything's fine. Sunny weather. No rain here. Texas Motor Speedway, Mike Mullern for MikeMullern.net.